Hey Illini fans, my name is Annie Fleming and I'm a senior third baseman from Peoria, Illinois, majoring in kinesiology and psychology. As a senior in high school, playing college softball was still a dream. And it's funny to say now, but Illinois was not my first choice. But I knew when I stepped on campus, this is where I wanted to be. I could tell this would be a place where I would be challenged inside and outside of the classroom. I remember driving by the softball fields and thinking that it would be incredible to play there and that maybe I'd try and walk on. Well, that plan was set in motion with the help of some of my coaches and I was given a preferred walk-on position. At that time, I never in my wildest dreams would have thought that five years later, I'd be a three-time team captain, a four-year starter, and a graduate from two colleges at this university. God's plan is truly always greater than ours, and I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunities that I've been given here. And now I'd like to thank all the people who have been a part of those opportunities. First, to all of my past teammates. Thank you for the energy and pride that you brought to this program. To Gunny, thank you for being my partner for every days and reminding me that you can't win them all. To Ruby Rivera, thank you for believing in me no matter what. Sometimes I still hear you yelling, you're the best when I step in the box. To Bree Wonderly, thank you for showing me what fight looked like. Your passion is unmatched. To Nicole Evans, thank you for showing me the way in every way possible. I am so lucky to have shared the field with you and I'm incredibly grateful for you taking me under your wing. To Ali Bauk, thank you for showing me that walk-ons can do it too. Every time I had any doubt that I was good enough, I just looked across the field at second base and there you were reminding me that anything was possible. To Jill Nicholas, thank you for showing me what service really looked like. Your spirit is one of a kind and our favorite quote from St. Catherine of Siena, if you are who you are meant to be, you will set the world on fire, will always hold a special place in my heart. To my teammates now, thank you for challenging me every day. Our banter about me being the grandma of the team was always appreciated. We have cried together, we have laughed together, we have lost together, and we have won together. Team 20 is special, and we have so much ahead of us that I cannot wait to accomplish. To all of my past coaches, thank you for investing in me. To Mike Birchtold, thank you for letting the seven-year-old onto your 10 u travel team, not to mention putting her in the leadoff spot. Thank you for being the last person at the field with me when one more turned into 100 more. Your heart for the game always inspires me. To Coach Sullivan, Coach Tobias, and Coach O'Connell, Thank you for giving me an opportunity to be a part of this program. Without you, I wouldn't be sitting in this seat today. To Coach Lance, thank you for the countless hours of VP you've thrown over the last three years, for being the positive face and energy at the front of the dugout before I step out on deck, and thank you for reminding me that every day I have air in my lungs is a good day. To Coach Trout, I still remember the first day of individual practice with you four years ago. I was so nervous, I'm pretty sure the only words I spoke were yes and okay. Now I couldn't imagine my career without you. Thank you for letting me stand by you in the dugout my redshirt year and taking every opportunity to teach me the game. Thank you for believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself. I'm excited for you to finally be able to share all your stories again without me ruining the ending because I've heard all of them before. To Coach Perry, thank you for coming to Illinois. You have pushed me to levels I didn't even know existed and I'm so much better for it. Thank you for taking that walk with me in Nebraska two years ago. It's something I will never forget and something I go back to often. I will miss looking down the third baseline and seeing you looking back at me with the belief in your eyes that I can do it. I'm so excited to see where this program goes with you leading it, and I'm so blessed that you let me be a part of it. Lastly, to my family, thank you for your constant support over the last 15 years. To my sister, thank you for reminding me that sometimes I'm just too nice out there and that I need to get a little meaner. Thank you for being the steady voice that I so often need when I overthink things or get too worked up. Thank you for being my best friend. To my mom, you showed me the strength a woman can have. When people say I work hard, I always want to tell them, you should see my mom. You're the absolute hardest worker I've ever seen. Your heart is big and your passion is great. Thank you for listening to me cry and reminding me to stay positive even when it was most difficult. The sacrifices you made in the past and the ones you make now do not go unnoticed and I'm so grateful. Lastly and most importantly, thank you to my dad. After you passed away 10 years ago, softball became the biggest connection to you. Every time I've stepped on the field since 2009, I knew you were right there with me. I don't think even you would have dreamed that I'd be playing D1 softball, but here I am, and I know you've been there every step along the way. On my dad's gravestone, there's an etching of a softball field with geese flying over it. I cannot even count the number of times geese have flown over Eichelberger Field, and every time I see it, I look up and smile, knowing you are right there with me, and always will be. Dad, thank you for teaching me to bat left-handed when I was only six years old, 
for tossing me balls in the backyard, for putting a pitching mound in our backyard and catching me whenever I wanted to go practice, even when you were sick. Thank you for telling me to do my changeup dance whenever I threw a changeup first strike. And most importantly, thank you for loving me until the very end. I love you too. To all of the future Illini, you have so much in front of you, and I'm excited for you all to get here and grow just like I did. But know you cannot do this on your own, and you don't have to. You have so many people here to support you, and I know you are going to do great things. Illini Nation, thank you for believing in this athletic department even when it wasn't easy. Great things are on the horizon, and I'm proud to say I've been a part of this program's foundation. Stay tuned to the end of our season, because I guarantee you we are not done yet. My name is Annie Fleming, and I'm a Fighting Illini.